you follow all the indicators in the world you incorporate 100 indicators all the indicators are asking you to take a long position still the market can reverse still it can go wrong right so in the market there is no holy grail there is no sure shot thing i could see many places people are saying you mark my word market is going to crash or you mark my word market is going to this level it is going to uh, 35589.5 then it is going to reverse i don't believe there is such accuracy uh, means, uh, per, uh, means is there in the market and anything can happen any time when you know that you will not over leverage so if you if you clearly remember the, these words while trading you will never take a position which is beyond your control right so this is something that always we need to remind ourselves while while in trades next my trading success mantra i want to tell you this before starting the presentation so how i trade and my trading mantra i identify the direction know the risk reward and the probability so once i know these things these three things then i can trade fearlessly within the risk tolerance i know if my risk is like 10000 rupees and if i am taking a trade within the 10000 rupees risk then i can trade fearlessly i can be cool wherever the trade goes as long as my strategy or my entry criteria everything is valid i can be as cool as a stone right so that is what I am saying, you need to identify the direction of, of your trade, there should be a reason to enter the trade and you need to know your risk, reward and probability. These are the three important words in the trading, risk, reward and probability. As long as you are able to manage the, these three things, nobody can stop you. You need to understand and manage your risk. You need to understand and manage your reward. People talk about the risk management, but nobody talks about the reward management. Because when the market moves in your favor, people see the green on the screen, they are afraid whether it will go back to the red. Even if everything in the world is, uh, means 99% of the probability is in your favor, still you exit the position prematurely just because you are in the green, right? Means I'm talking about, not talking about this group, I am absolutely sure because people have come here because you guys are pros and you have uh, gone through all the stages and you are profitable. I understand that, but I'm talking generally. So that is a common behavior that I've seen in many people. Just because people are in green, they exit the position. And that is something which can completely turn around your trading life to the opposite side. Because uh, if you keep on booking small, small profit, when the loss comes in, loss will be bigger than the profit, then you are going to be ending up, a, ending up as a loser. So this is my trading success mantra. I follow this while, while I'm in trading. So the people who worked with me or traded with me, they all know that I trade this way. So I just wanted to make sure that others also know uh, what I am doing and how I am doing. Okay. So mostly I'll, I'll talk about uh, some intraday trading best practices and uh, discretionary trading best practices. So the, the, some of the best practices that you can follow in your trading, regardless of what kind of strategy you are following. If you are an algo trader, if you are a systematic trader, it's a different story. But if you are a discretionary trader, even if you are using indicators and other stuff, still it is, it, it is practical things which you can incorporate into your trading, which can enhance your tradings. So the first thing is, you need to keep your average true range of the market in mind. Because what happens is, in the market, usually there is a range for the market. If you look at the Bank Nifty average true range, you can go into uh, probably uh, trading view or your broker platform or any, any chart, you can uh, select the ATR. Usually by default it is like 14 days ATR. And when you look at the ATR of Bank Nifty, it could be approximately 500 to 600 points right now. When it was like peak uh, bear market, it was like, uh, means not peak bear market, like last month and all, it was more volatile, it was like 750, 800 and all. So it keeps changing. In a bull market, it could be like 350, 400 also. So when you see the ATR is only 500 points, and in one day, in one stretch, you have seen like 500 points fall. Uh, maybe it, it may not be one stretch, it will be like swings and all, and uh, by midday, you have seen the 500 points fall. So what happens is many people, who are uh, who want to take a position 
at that point many people go and take the take the uh, trade on the downside because market has already fallen 500 points from the top then you see the breakdown because many a times i've seen the market is giving a false breakdown or breakout near the atr market has given the required move on an average after that it is giving a false breakout or breakdown and that is the point many of the new traders they go and take a position seeing the breakout or breakdown immediately they see the market is reversing and going against them and once you start keeping the atr in mind then you will understand because beyond atr market doesn't move generally only when there is a special situation any trigger or news or any extreme short covering extreme negativity or extreme positivity only then the market generally moves beyond the atr so you can keep noticing that and you can understand it and some of the people they take a position and they don't cut the lo losses they keep on hanging on to the losing position and when 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 the market reaches near the atr uh, imagine the market is going down the market reaches near the atr suddenly it gives a dip and that is the final nail on the coffin when the people see that di dip they get scared and maybe something that uh, they bought like maybe for like 300 rupees it could be like 280 250 uh, maybe 230 200 and it was swinging near 200 and, and and the market reaches near atr sudden dip from 200 sudden dip in a fraction of minutes it could go into maybe 150 from 200 that point they get scared and exit the position and that could be the final move and the market reverses from there you have seen that right so just by looking at uh, atr not always but many times you can avoid it those kind of mistakes exiting the position uh, at the wrong time entering the position at the wrong time Th these things can be achieved by looking at the atr it is not an indicator it is it is not giving you any buy sell or sell signal but just keep that range in mind and if somebody is uh, clearly watching on a day to day basis and you know the concept of H atr you don't even uh, need to look at the chart you know what is the general range that market plays out okay so that is one thing i wanted to clearly tell about and uh, next thing is there are a lot of breakout and means all these things i am talking about intraday trading only okay 